You've helped me, Bloodjaw. Now it's my turn to help you. We'll speak again later. You've helped me, Bloodjaw. Now it's my turn to help you. I'd like to know more about you, brother. Not much to say, really. I'm Rugar, son of Bartok and Guara, and I grew up in the Firelands. My story's the same as that of most orcs here. My clan was besieged by the Quarsan, and when those bastards finally decided to attack, they beat us. We were starving to death. At that point, we didn't care if we won or lost. We couldn't wait anymore for the fucking battle. At least we'd be able to die like orcs. You know what I mean. But those Quarsan dogs weren't there to wipe us out. They weakened us so we'd drop like flies and brought the survivors here. The slaves to their fucking mire. That's how they dealt with lots of clans. Many no longer exist. I know. But the worst was seeing orcs helping those bastards. I called them every name in the book, I think, and was arrested once by Adek. He took me into the Resistance, and I regained hope. But I had to open my big mouth again two weeks ago, and that Gorkash traitor recognized me. He wouldn't let it go after. He wanted to know how I got out of it the first time. The rest of the story you know. You're the one writing it, Bloodjaw. Thank you again, brother. My blood is yours now. We'll speak again later. I believe in you, son of the Red Breath. I'd like to help you with your mission. Your help will be most welcome, Shaman. There's a difficult battle ahead. And our brethren will need the reign of the fearless. I know, Jorosh, I know. Alas, I cannot do as you request. The reign of the fearless requires pure water. That found in the mire is defiled. Yeah, so basically, you want to help, but you can't. Thank you. That was fascinating. No, really. I can, Goblin, maybe. I know there is a spring of pure water around here. I can feel it. It is in the heart of the swamp. Are you kidding? It's infested with goblins. And not the nice ones, either. What is that place? A disgusting hole. This is where the foremen catch the goblins for their fucking row. They never go this far, to be honest. They take the risk to catch some of the vermin with their nets, but no one went as far as the source itself. Gee, I wonder why. We need that water. I'm not going to be stopped by a gang of goblins. Shit, Ark. And what makes you think it's not another botched plan? He's a water diviner, maybe? All shamans are water diviners. Ah, I see. Huh. Fuck. That is convenient, though. The reign of the fearless is a blessing. A way to align your heartbeats with those of Mother Earth. A passage between her and those facing death in her name. With the reign of the fearless, our brethren will be stronger. Okay, okay, I'll go. Just don't give me another fucking speech about your fucking fantasy world. You said a frickin' gang of crazed goblins wouldn't stop you, so I'm not gonna try. Ardek will take you to the entrance to the swamp. He knows the place. You chose wisely, Jorosh. What's your problem? Ark, let's get out of here. This place gives me the shits. The goblins here, they're not like the others. They're from the depths. They're savage. They like killing. They die the same. Don't worry about it. Ha! 
All this bullshit over some fucking water. We need that water. You don't know what we hold sacred. It's vital. Oh, come on! As if somebody's gonna notice the difference. The mages perceive the magic that permeates the world. For my brothers, it's the same with water. The Earth's sap. You can be sure they feel the difference. Why do I bother talking? You're always right. Now we're here, we might as well finish. The sooner it's done, the sooner we can leave.
charming little spot. Too bad about all the goblins spoiling the view. Ugh, you can smell them from here. <laughs> Let's do this quickly. We've got another battle ahead of us. Charming little spot. Too bad about all the goblins spoiling the view. Ugh, you can smell them from here. <laughs> Let's do this quickly. We've got another battle ahead of us. Me, Ark doesn't stand a chance. Better go see what's up to me. So, can I pee here? Hmm. I'll take the water. Whatever. Let's get the hell out of here. We're done. What do you want, son of the Red Breath? You can prepare the reign of the Fearless? Yes, don't worry, Bloodjaw. Thanks to you, your warriors will be ready to face death. Good. Thank you, Shaman. You wanted to tell me something? Time is short. We have to bring together the main leaders of the Resistance and set up a plan of attack. Very good. That's the point of no return, son. But if you feel ready, I can organize a war council and launch the assault. Hmm. I'm going to make sure everything's ready. All right. Come back and see me when you're done.
<laughs> Arkai the champion! Braggart, at your service! Delighted you have become the head foreman. I was going to raise the mire on my own, but I felt the others were wavering a bit. I know I'm going to regret this, but tell me about yourself, Braggart. <laughs> my life story. It's just waiting to be written down. I come from a long line of stout-hearted warriors, and I don't want to grow old here. I have a clan to rebuild. What clan are you talking about? I am the last of the Turquoise Dawn. All my brothers were slain by the Kwasan. Well, well. The last time I met the last survivor of the Turquoise Dawn, it was at the Wall, and he seemed a lot older. And the gift? Huh? What do you mean, the gift? The symbol of the Turquoise Dawn. The one I possess, passed on by an orc three times your age, who wanted to ensure the memory of his clan would survive. The one that all warriors of the tribe bear. How can you not know that, survivor? But I... I was twelve years old. I was to receive the gift. But fate did not leave me the time. The Quazan raced my village while I was hunting in the forest. When I came back, everyone was dead. I wanted to seek revenge, but there were too many of them, and they were better armed. They ended up capturing me. Hmm. What do you think? Yeah, it's not like the last to tell stories. I think this kid is full of shit. His story stinks. And I know stink. You can believe what you want, Goblin. I don't give a shit. Thank you for your revelations, Braggart. We'll speak again later. The news has already spread. Good work, Arkai. Or should I say, head foreman? A handful of foremen loyal to the traitor has dug in at a shelter on the north flank. But they won't dare make trouble for us. All the other orcs will follow you to the death. And Styx, thank you for dealing with the garrison. It was high art. We owe you one for that. If you see something you like in our reserve, help yourself. Thanks to you, we can arm everyone. You don't gotta beg me. Show me the merchandise.
Need anything? Take us to see the foremen who are still resisting. They have scores to settle. With pleasure. I'll guide you to where they're hiding out. Here we are. Are you sure about this, Ark? For once, maybe we could do subtle. You mean leave them behind and not do anything? These guys are just traitors. They're not worth the effort. They're pretty much fucked anyway. If they don't get lynched by the rebels, the Imperials will execute them. Either way works for me. I have to talk to them. I want to understand. Ha <laughs> Talk to them, that's good. Wait, you're not serious. They served the Khwarasan, walked all over their own brothers. They have to answer for that. Ah, you're starting to think too much, Ark. It doesn't suit you. Go get it.
almost leave without the big guy. He wouldn't like it. I better go get him. There are the last prison warders. Just sneak away. The fight isn't over.
I won't fight, Head Foreman. I don't have the strength left. You never did, fucking Yellow Belly. At least try to show a little dignity for once. You're going to die, but first you're going to talk. Tell me how you sank so low, and what made you become an executioner of your own people? What made you a hero? I can't explain. My eyelids became too heavy, that's all. So, I closed my eyes and hoped the next time I opened them I would see the sky. Our sky. That's not going to happen, traitor. Fine. One good deed. We done? Yeah. Back to the hideout. Excellent! That was like sexy, Ark. You got a gift with colors. Seriously. Hey, you wouldn't have a younger sister, would you? No beard breath. Shut the fuck up. Ha! <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Come on! Don't flatter yourself, buddy. What an image. Ugh. Ugh, just throw up a little.
won't fight, Head Foreman. I don't have the strength. You never do. You're going to. What made you so? You could have joined the Resistance, died on your feet, as an orc. <sighs> Listen, we're short on time. Hey, I can do it if you got scruples. What's your name, traitor? Dakath, son of Badath and Daisha, of the scum of the North clan. And you die for the mire, Dakath of the scum of the North, to save your people and free your brethren? Look at me! I... I swear... Uh, you're not buying this, are you? This piece of shit would swear his sister is a goblin if you asked. No, he's being sincere. I know. Come with us to the hideout, Dakath. You may get a chance to redeem yourself to your people. Are you kidding me? Uh, why did I bring my dad? I should have brought a violin. You've helped me, Bloodjaw. Now it's my turn to help you. We'll speak again later. Chop your need, Garak. I'll be back later, Garak. I see you spared Dakarth. That's somewhat unexpected. But I imagine you know what you're doing, Arkai. We'll need every fighter we can find. He won't betray us. I don't think so either. You're giving him his only chance to redeem himself. I suppose it was the best thing to do. Even if I can't help thinking, he's getting off easy. Need anything? Did you find anything we could use in all those weapons cases? Well, these weapons are valuable, you know, and cost us a lot. But for you, we can make an effort. Hmm, I understand. Anything else? Next step, we start the revolt in the mire. Everybody ready? The fateful hour is approaching, yes. I'd be lying if I said everyone's ready, but we'll follow you regardless. Talk to Marlock when you want to launch the assault. He'll be leading operations. Need anything? Next step, we start the revolt in the mire. Everybody ready? The fateful hour is approaching, yes. I'd be lying if I said everyone's ready, but we'll follow you regardless. Talk to Marlock when you want to launch the assault. He'll be leading operations. You wanted to tell me something? Time is short. We have to bring together the main leaders of the Resistance and set up a plan of attack. Very good. That's the point of no return, son. But if you feel ready, I can organize a war council and launch the assault. Do that, father. Okay. Garrosh, how many orcs do you have? Maybe ten, at most. 
That's not many. But Turg has 20 miners with him. They'll relieve you once I'm back up with Arkans. Marlock will lead the first wave with a dozen of his warriors. I need someone who knows the inside of the fortress. All right. We'll hold the position to the end. We have to. You'll have Garish in support if things heat up. When Styx and I have sabotaged the drawbridge, that'll be the signal. And when we get back, you make a sortie. A sortie? It's suicide! You can't hold out forever. We have to keep the initiative. If we can't take control of the tower, you're all lost. The Quasar needs slaves for their damn mire. And you've proven you aren't slaves. They won't be nice to you. It's a good plan, Arkai. Really? You're going to get wiped out. I'll need the best warriors to create a solid combat group and limit the disaster. What do you have in mind? I need an eagle, a lion, and a cheetah. That's how the blood jaws work. The eagle should be a cold-blooded orc, a strategist, to take the heights and use his experience to our advantage at the right time. The Lion will be our champion, an unbeatable fighter who'll break through the defenses and crush the enemy's morale. And our Cheetah will be the Link. We need a fast and intuitive brother who can get messages through to you, Garish, and Adak without fail. I see. But we don't have much time, son. Garish and Terg have gone to take up their positions. Adak has to join them at the time the assault is launched. We will have to draw on the orcs in the hideout. I'll deal with it. I'll talk with them and try to find out what each one can do. Good, son. Then come back and see me when you have your champions. I'll brief them before we launch the assault. What do you want, son of the Red Breath? Don't take it badly, but you don't seem like other shamans. I know. Believe me, I had to force myself to learn to hold my tongue and keep my head down here. But Ardek and your father insisted that I hide in the crowd. Without them, the head foreman would doubtless have had me killed. He had another way of seeing things and didn't like competition. But I think what will interest you the most, Bloodjaw, is knowing that before being shaman, I was head of the High Plains clan. I see. That's interesting. You're right. I'm very sorry, Drakan. A lot of Bloodjaws wanted to help you. But the High Plains were too far away. Jarhale refused to split us up for an expedition that wasn't certain to achieve its goal. And he was right. That would have meant making the same mistake I made. I alone am responsible, Jorosh. Don't blame your chief for my failures. But you deserved reinforcements. Relief. After having held out so long, won so many battles. And it took just one defeat to lose everything. It's always like that, Jorosh. Never forget that. Defeat always happens in the end. And when the day comes and the Great Breath doesn't want you, you have to force yourself to draw a lesson. In honor of all those who believed in you, there are a lot of them here. I won't forget, Drakan. I thank you. What do you want, son of the Red Breath? You
You can prepare the raid? Yes, don't worry, Bloodjaw. Good. Chop your need, Karok. I'll be back later, Garak. Chop your need, Karok. I need a great fighter for my squad. Think you can handle it? Garok, always ready fight for champion! Garok, very strong, and not scared of Qua Sun. Hmm. It's obvious he'd make me a good bodyguard. You got issues. No problem. I'll remember that the next time you get clubbered. Hey, I only kid because I love. I'll stick with you. You make better conversation. Barely. I'll be back later, Garak. Thank you again for sparing me, Head Foreman. I'll prove I'm worthy of your mercy. We'll need a fast, stealthy orc to carry orders and reconnoiter for us. I can be your orc. That's what I did with the Foreman. Hey, experience is an advantage. Sometimes it's more expensive, but that's just me. We'll speak again later. You've helped me, Bloodjaw. Now it's my turn to help you. We'll speak again later. What do you want, son of the Red Breath? You can prepare the reign of the Fearless? Yes, don't worry, Bloodjaw. Thanks to you, your warriors will be ready to face death. Yes, son? Do you have any suggestions? Not really. Drakan is more than a simple shaman. But that's all I can say. But if I understood right, your lion should be a real- Exactly. He'll be the squad's muscles. We need a brother that's both fast and stealthy for the job. I see. And for this eagle, you need an exper- You should speak with the other orcs to try to build- I'll be back later. What do you want? You can prepare? Yes. Good. What do you want, son? We'll speak again later. What do you want, son of the Red Breath? We'll speak again later. Yes, son? I might have found our eagle. You found a good strategist? Who? The Shaman is a worthy ally. I trust him completely. All right, son. I'll explain what's expected of him. I have 
our lion. The champion who will destroy the enemy defenses. Good. Who did you choose? I think Garak has potential. All right, son. I'll explain what's expected of him. I found the right person to run orders and reconnoiter. Your cheater, eh? Who did you think of? Daka has a lot to answer for. Now's his chance. All right, son. I'll explain what's expected of him. I'll be back later. <laughs> 